Hey, good morning to you. Good afternoon. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It's Monday, May 3rd, and we have a lot of severe weather that is brewing up, and it will be even worse for tomorrow. Now, if you've never been here before, hello. My name is Mark. I do upload every single day except Friday from sundown to Saturday at sundown. That's when I take my Sabbath. But hit that subscribe button because I do warn my community before anybody else. Ask anybody in the community. And going to the biggest tornado part of the season, Plus, early hurricane season about to kick in. We really need to make sure we're on top of things. Matter of fact, guys, I'm showing that this is going to ramp up and be an even more significant event for later tonight into tomorrow. If you do want updates on that this afternoon, hit that like button. Tell me that you do want a second video for today. I will make that for you, but you just got to let me know. Now, I have two videos that's showing you what's to come. Now, the video on the very top is showing you the infrared satellite because a lot of these storms is going to be nothing but rain wrapped. This lets you see exactly what's going on in those storms as they move. And you can see the blowing up and growing that these storms are going to be doing. It will be upgraded. As well as the one right above my head, this is showing you for the central U.S. all the way to the southeast. There will be a long rain band that will be a derecho with from 50 to 70 miles per hour plus wind gusts that will be in front of this thing. Now the way these storms are brewing with the energy that it has to still continue even more, I do expect it to upgrade significantly by this afternoon guys. All I ask is help me by notifying others. This is gonna be a serious event. It is gonna be at least two days. Share this video on social media. It's alert as many people as we can. Now I was gonna upload a video for y'all early this morning to alert y'all of this. Then I noticed that this is gonna brew up into the afternoon way strong till tonight and then especially strong for tomorrow so i wanted to wait for an update because the videos y'all seeing now these are all information from four o'clock this morning this just updated and i'm showing it's even grown since then now for your severe weather for today you have your marginal that's in the green you have your slight risk in the yellow and you have the enhanced risk risk that has grown in this orange here and the enhanced risk is for Louisville, Kentucky, Evansville, Indiana, Fort Smith, Arkansas, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and Jonesboro, Arkansas. And you can see the other levels of the towns as well. Plus, you have a tornado threat that has grown ever since this morning. You have all this 2% in this green area, but now you have this 5% that's going all the way up into Illinois for today. And you've grown a tornado threat for Georgia and the South Carolina. It was good to wait for the update. With wind being significant today, as well as hail, uh, and your 30% is in this red with your slight risk that is in this 15 on both sides. And you have this big area for 5%. But you can see all the areas that you're in according to your color palette. But it's significant severe for the wind today. It will be Fort Smith, Arkansas, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Jonesboro, Arkansas, Springdale, Arkansas, and Conway, Arkansas. As well as the other sections you need to watch out as well. This is going to be 50 to 70 plus uh, miles per hour wind gust that's going to brew up in front of this derecho. The hail threat has even stretched all the way out into the Ohio Valley now. And you have a you have the 15% in the yellow, you have the 5% in the brown. But the significant for the hail is now Tosa, Oklahoma, Lubbock, Texas, Wichita Falls, Texas, Denton, Texas, and Lawton, Oklahoma. And the part that changed for tomorrow, your thunderstorms are reaching all the way up into the northeast now, as well as your marginal going all the way up past Pennsylvania into New York. You have your slight in the yellow and your enhance has grown in this orange here. It's gotten bigger. I expect it to get a lot bigger by 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Hit that like button if you want an update today. And you can see your area for your color. The enhanced risk is Birmingham, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi, Huntsville, Alabama, and Chattanooga, Tennessee. As well as your tornado risk. It has stretched as well. It was in this area here, but now it's going all the way into Louisiana and all the way into Tennessee. And matter of fact, the 2% is going way into Kentucky all the way to the top. Then you have the 5% in the brown. And your wind has, has upgraded as well. It's gotten just as big to the northeast as the severe weather for the marginal has grown. So now you have 5% all the way into New York. You have 15% all the way to Ohio, all the way down to Louisiana. That's going to be a big line of storms. Plus you have this 30% now for tomorrow for wind. And that's you can see your color palette, but that's for Birmingham, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi, Huntsville, Alabama, and Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's because of those winds that's going to be in front of this derecho as it goes to the southeast. And I've seen 71, 72 miles per hour wind gusts. It's going to be strong. And your hail has grown as well. It was a smaller area. Now it's 5% all the way up to the northeast 
all the way down to southeast Texas. That's a big line. Plus, you have the 15% in this yellow, and you have the significant hail for tomorrow. For Jackson, Mississippi, Lake Charles, Louisiana, Jackson, Tennessee, Alexandria, Louisiana, and Greenville, Mississippi. As well as Wednesday. Wednesday has grown as well. Now you're getting a bigger area of severe storms all the way to Maine. Plus, your severe threat is 5% all the way up to almost Long Island. All the way to Jersey, and I am showing that the storms will blow up all the way that way. So around 10 p.m. tonight, when you already got storms everywhere else, it's when it's going to start getting worse. It's going to blow up from Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and it's going to get real big, especially over Indiana as well. And once you get to midnight, 1 a.m., then it starts brewing up real good for the Ohio Valley as well as uh, Missouri and Arkansas. But all this will get together overnight until early tomorrow morning to about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. And you got storms covering the whole area. And it's not over. That's just going to be the beginning. Tomorrow is going to be worse. As we go through tomorrow and the storms move through the Ohio Valley, starts fading as it goes towards the northeast, now you get some blowing up again uh, for the central U.S. and the south. And this will go towards South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, Tennessee, this is where you're going to get a big, strong derecho. It's going to go all the way from, from Ohio. You see some storms in Indiana, but it's going to stretch all the way from Ohio all the way down to Louisiana uh, with some 50 to 70 plus miles per hour wind gusts in front of it. As you get in about 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon, storm starts blowing up everywhere. But once you start going into the evening, then it's going to get worse. Around 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, now you got some big storms going all over the central U.S. and it's going to go into the Ohio Valley. Look at that explosion of storms there. And it's going to stay all night long into the early morning around 8 a.m. Then tomorrow this is going to start dying down, okay, but then it's going to start all over again with this big straight line winds from this derecho that's going to be forming as these storms are moving to the mid-atlantic this is going to go all the way from louisiana to indiana ohio and it's going to stretch and go all the way with some 70 plus miles per hour wind gusts all evening long into the early a.m and then it's going to mess with georgia and south carolina all morning long and here's your look at that from the south you have your storms blowing up all day, all afternoon long. Then about 9, 10 p.m. tonight, then it'll get the last bit go by. But around 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, then they're going to move to the Ohio Valley from the storms I just showed you. But for tomorrow, when this starts getting to early a.m. in the daytime, heating starts blowing up these storms. About 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, then it's going to start stretching all the way out, all the way from the Ohio Valley all the way to Louisiana. Six, seven, eight o'clock at night, you still got the big band of storms with the damaging winds in front of them, plus all the storms going in front of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, all evening long to the early a.m. 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, you still have bad storms going all morning long, all the way to the coast for Wednesday. 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's getting real strong. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, now it's going to start Indiana and Ohio Valley. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Now you got it over Delaware and Maryland real good. As it starts going overnight, it will be into Long Island, northern New Jersey. 4, 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it's going to start forming up real good over Tennessee. And then by 7 o'clock, it's going to stretch all the way to, from Louisiana to Ohio. 8, 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow night is still going. Midnight, early a.m. is going into Georgia, upstate South Carolina. And it's, it goes all morning long till about 8 o'clock in the morning. Here's a look from the central U.S., 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. You can see the surface level pressure builds up. 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. It's stretching all the way to the south. Now, this is where it breaks up. This is where the surface level pressure takes the energy from Ohio and runs with it to the northeast. And this is where the band continues to go to the southeast at the same time. Here's your look from the central U.S. first. You can see you get about 60 something miles per hour wind gust that's in front of these and it will go all evening long six seven o'clock at night you're still getting 60 miles per hour wind gusts and i believe the highest was 73 and that's right there in, in right below florence that's northern alabama that's right at 6 p.m sometime around then these gusts will be coming by guys and it's coming with a vengeance look at that 74 that's hurricane strength right there as it goes through nine ten o'clock at night you have nothing left but 20s. That's some damaging winds. And here's your shot from the south. 
about 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, you'll start getting 50 and 60s. You got a couple with 68 and 71 passing through 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. You're still getting strong winds in northern Alabama, central Mississippi, northern Mississippi. I don't see it getting too far southern with high numbers. 8 p.m. tonight is still going over Alabama as it goes into Georgia. It looks like it's weaker. It does have some 40s and 50s in it, but it's not 60s and 70s as you go to tomorrow morning. Plus the Cape value, as you can see how this monster strengthens all the way up, and that's strong right there, all the way until overnight. Then it's, it builds right back up for tomorrow. There's no relax through the night, so there will be storms through the night. Then tomorrow it builds back up as it goes off for Wednesday into the east. You can see that as we go through our day today, 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, now it's getting really strong all the way to 5, 6, 7 o'clock at night. It's super strong. It's over 6,000 joules. It's been like that for a while. 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, it still has a strength over 6,800. Then once you get into the early a.m., then it's going to move the surface low pressure over to over Tennessee. 4 o'clock in the morning, all overnight, all early morning, it never calmed down. So you can still have tornadoes. You can still have uh, strong storms throughout the night while you're sleeping. And as, as it gets till tomorrow, 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, this is when you get that duratio buildup with the straight line damage of winds. Look all the energy it has. The storm has all this energy to feed on as it goes to the southeast. So by 2 p.m. tomorrow, it's going to track all through that energy, carry it across with the damage and winds. 8 o'clock at night is still strong. It's still going till Wednesday. And the Cape values in the southeast of whether these storms has enough uh, convective energy to brew up. As you go to 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, it starts getting really thick with good values. Some very big tornadoes can come out of this. By 3 p.m., 4 p.m. in the afternoon, it's still building all the way to 5,000 joules per hour by six, seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock tonight is still over 4,800. Instead of this going down at one o'clock in the morning, you're gonna keep your energy all night long, good convective, strong energy all night long. It's not gonna stop. By nine o'clock tomorrow, it'll be going all morning long again, and then it'll strengthen up and get that long duration. By four or five o'clock in the afternoon, it has all the energy it needs to carry on to the southeast. And by 9 p.m. tomorrow, you're still at over 3,000 joules as the storm calms down for the East Coast for Wednesday. And a total rainfall expected according to the NAM 3K does show you do get some good storms that comes across uh, the Midwest. You do get a big line of storms when that surface low pressure breaks apart and goes to the Northeast and creates y'all storms. But now you got really heavy rainfall right in this region and a little bit of uh, Ohio as well. So here's your expected rainfall for the next two and a half days. And you do see upstate South Carolina could get up to five inches of rainfall. Northern uh, Georgia, over six inches, seven inches of rainfall is possible. And Alabama as well, seven inches. But it's widespread, definitely two inches for everybody. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama, you have a good chance for six, seven inches of, uh, of rainfall. That's a lot of flooding. There will be some good rainfall for Mississippi as well and for uh, southeast Louisiana, but a lot in Mississippi. And for Arkansas, it looks like east of Jonesboro is where you, the heaviest is, even though Jonesboro will be getting an inch. And when you start looking over the central U.S. and Ohio Valley, you can see that you get anywhere from four to five inches of rainfall all the way from western Tennessee, six inches for Jackson, all the way to Nashville with over three inches. Uh, Paducah, Kentucky, over four inches, possibility for five, six, or seven right on the edge of you. And everybody's getting over two inches for sure. That is a lot of rainfall. There will be a lot of flooding coming out of this. And here's a look with NAM 3K so you can see all the storms in motion of what I just showed you. Guys, if you really want an update, let me know. Hit that like button and help me warn others. I can't do it by myself. I need you to be involved. If you are on social media, do me this one favor. Share this video. Help me alert others. This could be a serious event. I don't, I don't want to lose anyone. At the same time, thank you so much for visiting my channel. And if you've never been here before, this is where I always praise God in every video. Amen. All glory does go to him. Psalm 47. 
O clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. Selah. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Amen. Bless you all today. I hope you all will be safe, you and your families. God bless you. Please help me share the video and get the word out to everybody else. I hope you have a very blessed day. All glory does go to God, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> God bless you all.